In this topic, we will learn about Amazon Glacier. Amazon Glacier is an economical storage solution to store data that would remain forever, but rarely accessed. It is an ideal choice for data backup and archiving, provides data security of the highest level, and offers flexibility in both storing and retrieving data. AWS bills you for only the used data or storage, and current least price for storing data in Amazon Glacier is 007 cents per gigabyte per month. Maintaining historical data can be a grief, as it is added to the administrative liability of managing the scaling storage. Amazon Glacier eases this hardship by providing features such as capacity planning, hardware provisioning, detecting and repairing hardware failure, data replication, and hardware migrations. When you preserve data in Amazon Glacier, it is stored as archives. This enables a user to store a single file or a combination of several files. Archives are arranged in vaults, which can be accessed using the AWS IAM service. Amazon Glacier stores data in transit via SSL and uses the 256-bit advanced encryption system. AWS enables organizations to store data in a location that is convenient for their businesses, and organizations tend to utilize Amazon Glacier to support the following use cases. Archiving off-site enterprise information. Backing up media assets. Storing research and scientific data. Preserving digital data. And replacing magnetic tapes. The Amazon Glacier Archives offers an average annual resilience of 99.999999999%. The archiving service maintains resilience by continuously utilizing several facilities and devices within each facility to store the data. The task continues till the service returns success on the uploading archives. Any individual object archived into Amazon Glacier such as a document, video, or any other type of file, is referred to as an archive. Each archive has a unique ID assigned to it by AWS. The archives are stored in vaults. A vault is addressed by a unique name assigned to it by its creator. A given AWS account may create up to 1,000 vaults in Amazon Glacier. You can refer to an archive in Amazon Glacier via a URL that points to the Glacier service and consists of the following three components. The account ID of your AWS master account, the name of the vault, the ID of the individual archive. Data stored in Amazon Glacier by Amazon S3 cannot be retrieved using the Amazon Glacier API. This is the data that Amazon S3 manages on your behalf, and it does not show up as a vault or archive. Amazon S3 archived files can be restored using the S3 Management Console interface or using the Amazon S3 API. Files added directly to Amazon Glacier using the Amazon Glacier API can be retrieved using the Glacier API. Retrieval requests can be any one of the following. Direct retrieval of a single archive object by archive ID. Filter by archive creation date. Ranged archive retrieval. Retrieve only a specific range of bytes from a specific archive. You can poll for job completion using the Describe Job API function. Amazon Glacier completion notifications can also be sent using Amazon Simple Notification Service, or SNS. Once an Amazon Glacier job has finished executing, the user can request a download of their thawed data. In this demonstration, You'll learn how to configure Amazon S3 buckets for archiving in Amazon Glacier, which is a lost cost storage service. First, you need to go to S3 under the Storage and Content Delivery section. Select your required bucket. For this demonstration, we'll select the Test 11 October bucket. 
click the life cycle option. Click add rule. Select the whole bucket option. Click the configuration rule button. Select the archive to the glacier storage class option. State the number of days after the completion of which you want the data in your S3 bucket to move to the glacier. For this demonstration, we'll provide 30 days. As you can see in the example provided, the objects in S3 bucket will move to glacier after the completion of 30 days. Acknowledge the message that you are aware that setting up this particular rule will likely increase your storage costs. Click Review. Provide a rule name. You can review your rule on this page. Click Create and Activate Rule. As you can see, the rule has already been added. You have learned how to configure Amazon S3 buckets for archiving in Amazon Glacier. Hey, want to become an expert in cloud computing? Then subscribe to Simply Learn's channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in cloud computing, click here.